Hi there, I'm Titus. And I'm Lee Wen. From Dance and Sandy. And today, we're gonna to be showing you some rumba. If you're brand new to dancing, then you are in the right place. Or maybe you've been doing rumba for a while, in which case you may wanna check out some of our other videos on rumba in the description below. And don't worry, if you are not like super advanced, or you were like, oh my God, how am I gonna get good at this? We're gonna set you up so good. My God, so good. We're gonna give you everything that you need to get started. If you're brand new, you're probably asking, what do I do? Well, one good way to approach it is, learn in three different levels. First, the patterns of the steps, then we move into your technique, and finally into performance. That way you have a structure for improving your dancing. So, you need some rumba steps. How many, you ask? 10 steps. If you got 10 steps, now you kinda got enough to juggle around when you go out there dancing, but you haven't got so much on your brain, you're like, oh my God, there's so much to remember. And with 10 steps, you can always mix and match them. Let's get started. So when you're learning to dance, one of the questions that comes up is, what foot do I start with? Leaders, you're gonna be starting with your left foot, and followers, you're gonna be starting with your right foot. We're gonna use that concept throughout the entire lesson. A great place to start with the rumba is the rumba basic. Which goes, and rock, replace, side, hmm, rock. Replace side. The fall goes forward. You start with your weight on that left foot, rock back on the right foot, replace the left, side right. Now just rock forward on that left, replace right, and then side left. And there you go, you got your basic. Now, leader's footwork. Leader starts with his weight on the right leg. He's gonna rock forward with the left foot, replace to the right, and he steps side on the left. Then the right foot rocks back, replace to the left, and he steps side on the right. The timing now goes, we hold four, one, we step on two, replace three, side four, hold one, back two, replace three, side four, hold one. Step number two is going to be the Kukaracha. It goes, and side, replace, close, side, replace, close, and the follow-up footwork will be, go ahead and go to the side of the right, replace the left, close that right foot. Side, left, replace the right, and close that left foot. Kukaracha completed. Leaders have pretty much the same concept, but on the other leg, of course. We start off on the right, and then what happens? You step side on the left, replace to the right, close the left. And then side on the right, replace to the left, and close. Let's try with a partner. Four, one, two, three, and close. Two, three, and four, one. Our second step. One thing to remember when you're closing your feet is just try and bring your ankles to close. So, incorrect, correct. <laughs> side step. Side, close, side, and side, close, side. What? Followers for work, starting with your weight on the left foot, you're gonna go side to the right, close the left, side on the right. Back to the left foot, close the right foot, and side on the left. Now, leader's footwork is gonna step side on the left, close the right, and then side on the left. Then come back the other way, step onto the right, close the left, and side on right. Let's see it with timing. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. By now, you probably have noticed that we are always starting on account of two. So we hold four, we hold one, we step on two. That's how we do it around the international styles. The end of our turn goes like so. Two, three, and four. But we like to do a half a basic first, just to give ourselves a little setup. And two, three, four, and two, three, four. So the leader's actually just doing that very first basic step, but he has to change the way he leads it. Let's check out the follower's footwork. Starting with that half basic, you're going back on the right foot, replace to the left, side right. Now, that left foot's gonna come across. You're gonna swivel, this is where it gets tricky. Don't move that right foot. If that foot goes off into infinity land, you're gonna get far away from your partner, and the world might stop spinning, so don't do that. Put the weight back onto the right leg now, and then you just step side on the left, 
and it is done. Now, the leaders for work, you already know because it's just a full basic. But we gotta use our arm a little differently. I will demonstrate that. Mm -hmm. So we have a rock step left, replace the right side. Now, I have to lift that hand up enough for her to go under. As I rock, replace, and then drop it back down to frame. Two, three, four, a little lift of the hand. Two, under she goes, three, four. So I'm making a little circle right over her head as she does that turn. You gotta remember to keep it real short and low. And she is a beautiful angel. Not just her, but any woman. Any, any follower. Any follower is a beautiful angel. And that angel halo is right there. So when you go under, keep that hand right over the halo. You're tracing the halo of that beautiful angel you're dancing with. So what can go wrong when you do an underarm turn? Well, let's say we do rock step, two, three, four, and you take your arm too far behind you, then she has a really hard time getting under. That's one problem. Another one is when you over lead that underarm turn from here. Two, three, four, you think you need to push way over here. That's gonna also be very uncomfortable for you, but it might throw her off her center. And lastly, is just being too late with the underarm turn. Two, three, four, Oh yeah, two, and then you lost it. So you gotta pre-lead that just a touch from here. Two, three, start to lift that arm, four, so she knows it's coming right over the angel halo, right there as you lead her. Well, I have this to your right hand when you're leading on your own turn. Gotta let go. And two, three, four. I got my hand on the back there. I can give her a little pressure as I release. Two, three, and four. So it's interesting as a leader, You've got to be gentle yet firm. So you don't want to over push, but you don't want to be spaghetti either. So it's a little bit of a fine line. Tone and gentle as you leave. Next up, probably one of the most recognizable steps in international Latin dancing. The New Yorker ends. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Let's check out the followers footwork. Starting with your weight on the left foot, you're gonna go ahead and come through with that right foot to a rock step. Replace the left, side right. Then come through with that left foot, rock onto it. Replace the right, side left. Not that hard, actually. Leaders footwork, he will start with his weight on the right leg, do a quarter turn to the right, and step forward on the left. Now replace to the right foot, and do a quarter turn to the left, and stepping side on the left. Now quarter turn to the left, rock forward on the right, replace to the left, and turn back and step to the side on your right foot. Lots of quarter turns. Yeah. It's not that hard, don't worry. Just yeah. have some fun with it. Our arms are waist level. We're gonna release leaders right followers left as we rock forward. Keep this hand nice and low, right here. Low hand and side. Switch the hands, leaders right followers left. Low hand here. That connection stays low for the New Yorker. Notice also leaders palm up, followers palm down. Give me five. So generally, the leaders are going like that as the followers give them five or 10. You don't want to have any little weird things going on with those hands. So we really don't want you to have any bad habits because those become a little hard to correct That's later on. so true. Yeah. So you are learning all these different steps and it's all really exciting. And by the back of your mind, you're asking yourself, how do I put all of these together? How do I connect them? We're going to show you how to do that end this video. That underarm turn will happen in different places to give you cool transitions. It's gonna be easy, it's gonna be fun. We're at the halfway point now. Let's get into our next step. So we have a hand to hand. It's gonna go rock step back and we have a side step and rock step back and we have a side step. Followers footwork starting on the left foot, a little bit of a turn, rock back on the right. Replace the left, little turn, side right. Mini turn, step back left. Replace to the right, and turn side, step left. The leaders will do a little turn, back on the left. Replace to the right, and side left. Little turn, back on the right. Replace to that left foot, and side right. Notice that we are both doing the same footwork, but just starting on opposite feet. Next, we have the eye. Ida. We're gonna use that last step we just did, a hand to hand, to get started. Rock, replace, and then three walks back. Walkity, walk, walk. Followers footwork. We're gonna go ahead and do that rock step back on the right leg, replace to the left, and then side on the right. Quarter turn, 
and then back on the left, back on the right, and back on the left. Leaders for work, starting with weight on your right foot, now it's going to rock back on the left. Replace the right and the side on the left, then do a quarter turn, back on the right, back on the left, and back on the right again. So how do we lead this? Leader's right arm is toned, follower's left arm is toned. I just move me, because we're both toned, that'll turn her. Now I move me back, that moves her. I move me forward, that moves her. I turn me, that turns her. Now same idea, I'm gonna turn me, toned arms. That will make her turn. Now from here, I'm gonna move backwards. I just keep my arm toned, she can feel that tone. That'll make her continue to travel in that direction. Timing will be back, rock two, three, and side, four, one, and we have two, three, four, one. If you missed that, you can always go back with a little double click, rewind it and watch it again, slow it down, speed up, however you need to see it. What about if you're doing all this and you don't have a partner and you're practicing and you're thinking, God, I wish I had a partner. It's okay. You can actually just do the leader's part if you're a leader or the follower's part if you're a follower without a partner and just keep following along. If you don't have a partner, you can really get your moves cool right now. So eventually when you go out social dancing, you'll be ready and you don't have to be all bogged down and trying to figure out too many things. You can just focus on your own parts. That's how a lot of people actually practice that get quite good. As a matter of fact, I've danced way more on my own than with a partner, especially when I first started. It was all my practice on my own. So, no partner, no problem. Because nobody wanted to dance with him. Don't tell them that. Shh, you didn't hear that. They wanted to dance with me, even though it was no good. I'll dance with you. Thank you, okay. And now we're gonna show you what probably is the easiest step of all of them. It's a Cuban rock. The reason why the Cuban rock is so easy is you just plant your feet and you just rock those hips around. So you don't have to memorize like 17,000 different steps. It's just bam, bam, bam. And we usually do that three times. So let's check out what it looks like. We're gonna start off backing each other and we would just get rock, replace, replace, and then rock, rock, rock. Now there's one little direction change there, but overall pretty easy because we have a little bit of time to just rock on the spot. Let's check out the followers for work. Weight is on that left foot. You're just gonna put the weight onto the right and rock those hips onto it. Back on the left and then onto the right. Little turn and then it's just gonna be side, replace, replace, all on the spot. Peter does the same thing, but just on the opposite foot. Rocking forward on the left, replace to the right and forward on the left. Then he does a swivel and side onto the right. Big juicy hips back to the left and on to the right. Let's try it with a partner. If we have one, if we don't, then just keep doing your solo work. We have and rock, rock, step and rock, rock and side. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. We got an easy step out of the way and now we got kind of a hard one because there's gonna be a bunch of turning going on. We're gonna go into the natural top from half a basic. And we have two, three, we come to frame, four, one. Two, three, four, one. And there's your natural top. Let's check out how the follower's work's gonna work. We have a rock back on that right leg, replace the left, and sidestep right. Now, what was that? It was half a basic, that very first step we started with. You knew that, didn't you? I thought so. Okay, now. You're gonna start turning to the right. Forward on the left foot, starting to turn. Forward on the right foot, continuing to turn. And then one more forward left. And that's the followers forward. Leaders, you're gonna do half a basic, starting left foot forward, replace to the right, and stepping side on the left. Now you're gonna start turning, hook your right foot behind, and then side on the left, and close the right. With a partner, here we go. Rock step, two, Three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Natural top connection. We're gonna do a rock step. We're gonna come to our basic frame. And then we just keep turning, keeping the tone in those arms. Two, three, four. So we're not really trying to turn the follower. We're just keeping our tone. That makes it easy. And the follower has tone in her arms as well. We wanna keep those shoulders facing each other. We get two, three, four, two, three, four. We're to the last step. Step number 10, the opening out. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. 
two. You can also do with open arms. Four, one, two, three, four, one. Opening out, same footwork as the hand to hand. Quarter turn back on the right, replace to the left side, and quarter turn back on the left, replace to the right and side. The leader's footwork is the same as the kukaracha. You have side on the left, replace to the right, close that left foot. Side right, replace the left, and close the right foot. With a partner, we have and two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can also release and hold followers right arm and leaders left, releases two, three. Give your partner a little hug, switch those arms up, leaders right and followers left is released. Hug a partner and two, three, and four. Now that we've done all 10 steps, we're gonna put them together in a routine for you. So let's go through it. We start off with the basic. And two, three, four, one, two, three, four. From here we go right into that kukaracha. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're just gonna do one side step. Two, three, four, right into an underarm turn. Two, three, four. From here, three New Yorkers. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. We do that underarm turn again. Two, three. Now we have three hand to hands. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, one more. Two, three, four. We're gonna go right into that Aida. And two, three. Cuban rock, two, three, four, another one facing, two, three, four. From here, we're gonna go into our natural tongue. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Opening out, two, three, four, two. We'll do it again, but release the arms. Two, three, four, two, three. From here, we're ready to go back to the very beginning of the routine, and you can repeat as needed. So you may have been doing this video and saying, wow, this is a lot. And wow, this is a lot! If that's the case, then you can just break it into smaller pieces for yourself. You're talking too much. I am. It's time to just dance. Yeah. And there you have your crash course for rumba, getting 10 steps to get you going. Just keep doing it every day or every other day or as often as you can so you get those steps into your system. It's not gonna be that hard. We threw a lot of things at you today, so really good job following along. Of course, there's a lot of technique to be learned, um, partnering skills, and all of that will come with experience and more dancing. And you know you wanna improve your technique because that will make learning all the other steps so much easier. Titus has a great course, Run by Essentials. It's really awesome. How to use your feet, your arms, your hips. How to do rumba walks. I'm sure you have heard of rumba walks. If you haven't, now you have. Which is basically what rumba is all about. Rumba walks to rumba is kind of like sound and music. You need that sound to make the music happen. You need that rumba walk to be awesome. Get the course. The link is in the description below. You can get it right away and start your rumba technique instantly. Now you may be learning all this and as you get better, you're gonna to wanna to be able to do more cool stuff. So we have a lot of dance in five way steps, which is basically taking one step and showing you how to expand it into five other versions. So you keep on learning new ideas to make your social dancing or whatever you're doing a lot more fun. Remember to check out all those links in the description below and subscribe to our channel because we're always posting new concepts, new content 
all the time so you can improve faster and learn more cool things. And while you're dancing, you're asking, well, what is rumba music? We have rumba playlists that are categorized by different tempos, slow rumba music, medium, and regular speed. So that way you can just use those different playlists and practice the routine that you learned. I'm Titus. I'm Li Wen. From Dance Insanity. Thanks for dancing with us today. Look forward to seeing you next time.